Taoism is a set of Chinese traditions which emphasize living in harmony with the Tao. This can be defined as the source of everything and the ultimate principle underlying reality. The beliefs of Taoism can be broken into three sections, compassion and love, simplicity and patience, humility and modesty, or being humble. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on humility and modesty. Number nine, seek to know your faults by observing yourself and how you judge others. When the master makes a mistake, he realizes it. Having realized it, he admits it. Having admitted it, he corrects it. He doesn't get offended by the ones who point out his faults. Instead, he treats them as his generous teachers. He catches himself when he's not giving his best and then he fixes it. He treats every faulty realization as an opportunity to increase self-awareness and become better, not an excuse to feel down. Oftentimes we judge others for the things we lack in our own lives. We may envy someone who is more wealthy than us and call them all these names in our head, saying that they got lucky or that they need to donate their money, when in reality, we're just more upset about the lack of wealth we have in our own lives. Humans tend to project their insecurities. Catching and correcting this behavior is key to living a life of peace. Number 10, let go of expectations. A Taoist lives life without expectations, living fully in the here and now. The more expectations you have of your life, the less you will accomplish or become. Living in the modern world, people need a few expectations as it is part of navigating life. We can practice this in a healthy manner, but like the Stoics, let go of the outcome of your own actions. For example, if you see somebody you want to talk to and you think that they're very attractive, let go of any outcomes in your head and just focus on having the conversation. Expectations plant the seeds for the opposite to occur. You won't learn, change, or grow from your efforts or your experiences. Instead, you'll add friction to the equation. Any expectation more complicated than that or relying on something outside of yourself, parentheses, attachment to the outcome, just sets up the future to not meeting your needs. Here's the secret. Create only a single expectation at a time for any future experience. An expectation that you will smile or have some fun. Accept everything as a unique experience with an outcome that is not yet determined yet. Learning from your own experiences and mistakes or changing yourself for the better will occur on its own without the burden of expectations. Number 11, explore your essence. Oftentimes we look to others for answers. Learn how to trust your own intuition. Listen to your own heart. If something doesn't feel right, then you need to examine why. Let go of judgments that hold you back. Remove conflict and anger from your relationships. If you find yourself in a dysfunctional relationship, either set firm boundaries for yourself or remove yourself from the relationship altogether. Life is too short. Sometimes it is important to empty your boat while crossing the river of life. And I quote, he who knows others is wise. He who knows himself is enlightened. At the center of your being, you have the answer. You know who you are and you know what you want. Number 12, to those unwilling to accept you for who you are, no action is required. Some people won't accept you. That is inevitable. The sooner you can understand that they do not know you the way that you know yourself, the quicker you will be able to not take the situation too personally. Life is so short. Don't spend it in agony.